Welcome to First Take exclusively on YouTube. I'm Christine Williamson here with Stephen A. Smith. Yes. Let's get into some NBA mm -hmm. topics. NBA fans were given a preseason treat last night as LeBron James and the Lakers squared off with KD and the Suns. Both superstars shine bright with LeBron scoring 19 points and KD dropping 21 points in just 17 minutes. The Lakers and the Suns are featured in the NBA's opening night slate on Tuesday. Now there's high expectations for both of these teams this season. The Suns are 6-1 to one to win the title, placing them fourth behind the Celtics, Bucks, and Nuggets. Lakers are sixth in title odds. Phoenix trying to win the first championship in franchise history. Stephen A., which team do you have higher expectations for this season, the Lakers think, or the Suns? Listen, I think that obviously you have to say the Phoenix Suns simply because of the lethal weapon three that they have with Bradley Beal, uh, now a Phoenix Sun, Devin Booker there, Kevin Durant, who I think is one of the most sensational offensive players we have ever seen, um, obviously having a full training camp under his belt, full year coming forward with the Phoenix Suns. Last year, he only played eight regular season games before the playoffs began. We keep forgetting that after transitioning from Brooklyn. I think that's a huge plus for them. I think the other thing that is also a huge plus for the Phoenix Suns is the fact that uh, DeAndre Ayton is gone. Mm -hmm. This is a guy that was not happy there. He was a distraction right. to the team. I'm not pointing fingers at saying it was his fault or their fault or whatever. He did not want to be a part of this franchise. It wasn't just about Monty Williams. It was period. And clearly, his you know his temperamental ways definitely got the best of them because he was he was a no show on too many occasions. Come playoff time, you pick up a guy like Yusuf Nurkic mm -hmm. from Portland. This brother can score the ball. He's seven feet. Can't stop a cold. Don't play defense, but he can score. Yeah. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you gotta you gotta look at the Phoenix Suns as being arguably the most potent offensive team in all of basketball. You're gonna have to put up 120 a night to stop them. That's how I look at them. And let's not forget they acquired Grayson Allen and Eric Gordon in the offseason as well. I think those are huge pickup of Koji playing with them at the small forward spot. This brother can play. I like them a lot. Let me say this about the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James is unreal. 21st season, 20th year last year, averaged nearly 29 uh, a game with eight, eight, re eight rebounds and, and six assists, or I think it's six assists and eight rebounds, whatever it is. Um, the brother was absolutely sensational. I love the fact that they acquired Gabe Vincent and mm -hmm. Christian Wood in the offseason. Christian Wood is an additional long body, maybe not big with girth, but definitely long. It could play some five for you, some four for you. So Anthony Davis can get some help in that regard. That is a plus. Gabe Vincent is a perimeter shooter. He's a plus, and he was just in the NBA Finals. We know what he brings to the table. Cam Reddish is there as well. Jackson Hayes is a seven-footer. We know that he can play. But to keep D'Angelo Russell, Hachimura, of course, Vanderbilt as well. Austin Reeves with his contract. The continuity that the Los Angeles Lakers have. Here's where it comes down to where there's a difference between the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. Is Anthony Davis going to be a superstar? Mm -hmm. Or is he going to be what I call six flags? He shows up one game, drops 40. Yeah. The next game, he's missing an action. Shows up another game, drops 35. Next game, he's missing an action struggled throughout the postseason to put back-to-back -back games together, and they weren't back-to-back -back nights. Mm -hmm. He had breaks in between games and still didn't show up the next game. Right. He was in uniform, and it was still miss there was still a misses report out for him. He on, on every other game, it seemed like. He can't be that. In order to beat the likes of the Phoenix Suns, the Denver Nuggets, uh, those two teams, just to name a few, the Clippers even, because when they're healthy, they have the Lakers number. In order to pull that off, Anthony Davis has to be a superstar yeah. on a consistent basis. He does that, the Lakers at the very least are back in the Western Conference Finals. He doesn't do that, mm -hmm. the Phoenix Suns will have the edge on him. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. LeBron James says AD is the face of the franchise. He's only saying that to just be PC. Tips you know, off. damn face of the franchise. That's LeBron James. <laughs> believe Season that. Tips off October 24th. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. And be sure to watch First Take Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN. And be sure to check out more exclusive First Take debates on YouTube.